with this snowy and snow-filled and an extremely chilly day. Today, I'm gonna to be responding to a tag that I got tagged by Jeff's Outdoor Adventures, and I'm gonna be tagging a few people at the end of this video, but the tag basically consists of what is my bushcrafting or outdoors camping kind of cook kit. And today I'm gonna to be going over my entire cook kit and talking about the different pieces I use. I've always liked to keep it really simple so there's not a whole lot of components to this cook kit, but they're all very multi-useful and there's just a handful of them. So, <clears throat> so to start off, I'm gonna be going smallest to largest. And starting off with the first one is this little pot. And this is an Uberlieben Kessel pot and it's a stainless steel 1.1 liter pot. I fortunately have to remove a mitten to get this thing out of here. But this is what the pot looks like and <clears throat> This is what the pot looks like and overall it is pretty impressive. I was not, I was kind of optimistic of how this whole weird looking handle. So as aircraft like to get in the way of this. Anyways, so it allows you to easily hang this on stuff over a fire. It also allows you to easily pour stuff because this does have a spout. It has a strainer type of spout. So it allows you to pour teas and different things I like to make while out there in the woods. And it allows me to do that and easily pour. And <clears throat> I also, what I like about this pot though, is unlike most that have handles, uh, this handle is pretty easily removable. I say as I struggle to get it off in the winter. But um, this pot handle is actually pretty easily removable. So all you do is just take the screw off and then the handle can just pop right off. And what I like about this uh, particular pot is once the handle's off, you can either make your own handle if you don't like this particularly curved handle, or you can actually use this to hang it uh, through here and through one of the spout holes. So you can make a pot suspension system for the pot if you would rather suspend the pot or have the pot suspended as opposed to um, using this handle for however you want to use it. So anyways, this is the Uberlieben Castle pot and I really dig it for a full sized pot. It's really, it is pretty nice. And once again, I really enjoy this whole spout feature that it has right here so that you can pour stuff. And especially that's very helpful for when making teas and other things like that that you actually want to pour out. But it's also still big enough. You guys can see it's a 1.1 liter pot. So it's also big enough if you want to make any smaller meals with it. It is definitely a capable uh, system of doing that. And so this is not, of course, a review on this thing because I don't have quite enough dirt time on this for a full-on review, but just a short explanation of why I like it and why I carry it. And of course, it comes in this little pouch here, this little canvas pouch. So that's also pretty handy and pretty nice. And as I struggle to get it in here. So that is the Kessel Pot. And now moving on to the next one now. Luckily, I can wear my mittens for, don't have to take these things off. It is cold out here. So anyways, now on to the next piece of kit that I use for cooking, and it is a Vargo Titanium Bot. And if, for those who don't know, the Bot is a bottle pot kind of mixture. And so this is the Bot by Vargo, and this is the titanium version, not the stainless steel. And I really like this thing. I was unsure about how much I would like it at first, because I was like, I don't know about this whole like box system of it being a bottle pot but uh, it works very well for its intended being a bottle or a pot and being able to interchange the rolls very well. And you'll notice this weird thing on the bot itself and that is that I have a bot hanger for this so you can get multiple different accessories for the bot. And I got this titanium bot hanger because just like with this one, I want to be able to use them over open fires, not just on like a little bush box stove but on actual open fires if I need to. So I like the ability of being able to hang it. And so I like this titanium hanger because it allows me to hang it over open fires. I don't have to use a specific type of fire for this. I don't have to just stick it directly in the fire. So anyways, it also carries around 900 or I personally fill it up a little bit higher than its measurements, but around a thousand milliliters. So, or a milli or a liter rather. So this holds about, 32 ounces of liquid and it's a pretty nifty invention. It's, it's extremely light. I wasn't sure what to think of titanium, but this stuff is stupid light. 
Anyways, now on to the last bit of actual cooking gear that I carry specifically, and that is my stainless steel Nalgene. And <clears throat> this is also another boil friendly. All of these, you know, you can throw right in the fire and it doesn't matter, or you can put them, expose them to open flames. They can boil your stuff. And yeah, so this is basically the smallest kind of container I use for cooking smaller things, or rather just doing like teas, coffees, and the smaller likes. So next to that, and the real, the one real um, fire system I do carry, just in case I need to carry it, or for whatever reason, if I do need it, these things fall in the snow too. Um, <clears throat> but the one thing I do carry for a stove is my bush box folding, large folding, or this is the Bushcraft Essentials bush, bush box LF or large folding. And this box is large enough to actually put this inside of it. And it's large enough to hold both the other bot and the pot there. So it's a very capable, pretty big stove and it works very well for heating up all the different cooking implements I tend to carry. It's also very rugged, and what I like about this system too is, I'm not gonna break this open and show you because it's just too cold out for that, but what I like about this one is, hopefully you guys can see here, that there's actual little uh, slits cut in the sides of this bush box that you can stick these through. So if I wanna use something like trioxane to heat up water or make a tea or a coffee, I can put trioxane in the bottom grill of this and have this actually sit in the pot directly underneath the trioxane. So that is a preferred way and of like heating up this particular bottle, the Nalgene bottle. And so I like that ability that the Nalgene has and I like the ability that this bush box offers. And overall, it's a very easy to set up and very effective package. That's what I really like about it. Anyway, so that's my basic uh, bushcrafting, camping setup for cooking. It's not too extreme. I never like to have my cooking setups extreme or hard or have all these crazy different things to them. I like to keep them very basic because the cooking I do out in the woods is also very basic, so I don't do anything crazy. Um, just make simple meals. So anyways, the people I'm going to tag are first coal cracker bushcraft and I'm gonna leave a, dis a link in the description of this video and I'm gonna roll in some footage of their channel so you guys can go see. But Cool Crackers, the first one I'm going to tag. Then next to that, I'm going to tag Native Survival and Bitch from Native Survival is an awesome guy. I really like his channel, I love watching his videos. Definitely go check all the channels that I'm about to link, but or that I'm about to mention. And then last, or not lastly, then next is my good old friend, MCQ Bushcraft. We've been friends for years on YouTube, and I think you guys, if you've been around the channel at all, kind of have noticed some of the, sometimes he does comment on my uh, videos, and we chat, and he sent me stuff before. He's a really awesome guy, so just about every tag video I do, I like to tag him in because he's really awesome. I don't do many tag videos though, so yeah, generally it's pretty rare. But anyways, the next guy I'm gonna tag is His Survival or Hawaiian, or Hawaii, Hawaiian, something like that. It's Hawaii or Hawaiian Institute of Self-Reliance. Gabe over there at His Survival is really awesome, really knowledgeable about Hawaii, and I've been watching his channel for some time, and it's really interesting to see the dynamics of how it survival is in Hawaii because Hawaii is really different from the continental US and it's also extremely different from Alaska so uh, his survival or Gabe over there does a really good job at showing Hawaii and I like to think I do a pretty good job at showing Alaska not sure about that but hopefully I do so anyways those are the four guys I tagged the link in the description will be for all of them I'll leave all of their channels there so you can go check them out and like I said I'll do some rolling footage and just do like screenshots of their channels so you guys can see what their channels look like kind of some of their videos and stuff like that anyways guys Hopefully you've enjoyed this quick look at uh, all of my cooking equipment and for bushcraft and I'm going to wrap it up at this. As always guys, God bless and I'm out.